Right folks, how you doing? Okay, it's another noob the day. This is a little bit different noob the day because it's a noob for yesterday. I never had time of day one yesterday, so now that I've got the house to myself, my wife's away at the hospital again, I thought I'd tell you about my day yesterday. Well, holy oh, jigs, Griffin's eye. What a day I had yesterday, no real. What happened was, right, gets up in the morning, had to go and sort this guy's bills out who had been trying to pay. Because uh, he got his phone cut off and he blamed me for it, right? He was blaming me for his phone getting cut off because he was away and I was supposed to be paying his bill. I told him, look, I paid your bills. I went for two two months in a row and there was no bills to pay. I waited 40 minutes in a queue. I'm only getting fucking two pound for a bill and you give me three bills and I'm going there twice and if I didn't get a bill, then I didn't get paid for it. So I'm wasting all my fucking life chasing your bills around so I'll not be paying your bills anymore, pal, right? But seeing as how your phone's got cut off, I suppose I'm under some kind of moral obligation to check it out. Alright, so, I had to go there in the morning and it gets the boy ready. The boy wanted to come, gets him out of the house anyway, again. He's quiet when he's out of the house. So, me and the boy fucking plodding along, got him in the pram, pushed him all the way to this, this guy's house, right? Fair do say, guys said to me, right, they said, oh, I've got this other thing I need to do at the council. Can you help me with that? Oh, I need to go and get my uh, internet connection. Can you help me with that? I want to stand, I want to do some standing orders at the bank. Can you help me with that? No, I fucking can't. Let's get the bills paid. There you go. There's all the shit. You can deal with it for new one. Find some other mug, right? Anyway, so anyway, I did end up going. I went to this fucking... Uh, council place for them to pay his yearly council tax, right? And uh, all the while I'm doing this, I'm talking to the security guard at his thing. I'm on the phone to my wife to translate between one guy and another guy using all my credits, right? Credit, credit, credit. Then talk to my wife, talk to my wife, blah, 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 blah right? Goes into this place. Then we went to the post office to pay his bills. And then fucking, I had to get the, on the phone again. The post office man talked to my wife, translate, translate, translate. This took a bit, quite a lot of credit. I would say at least four quids worth of credit, right? Which doesn't sound a lot, but when you're in a fuck all, that's quite a lot, considering I only get two quid for every bill that he pays me. And I, went to, I owed him 63 quid, right? So, I says to him in the post office, we're ready to pay these bills, I says, right, I've got 70, do you have seven quid on you? He says, aye. I gave him the 70. He says, he gave me some loose change, which I meant to tell about three pound fifty, three fifty, right? He says, that's near enough seven quid. I looked at it and goes, no, it's fucking... I never even said that. I just was disgusted. Okay? I just shoved it in my wallet. The sooner I get rid of this ball bag, the better, basically. Okay? Put it in my wallet. Fucking hell. I only get two quid. Are you going to give me any money for these bills we're paying? On my morning this morning? I didn't think so. Okay? And I just I couldn't even be asked, asking him. Because I sold a house to one of his friends. right? This lady, I sold a house to her. Well, I sold her house, she asked me to sell her house, so I fucking sold it for her. And before the deal started, I said, right, you want 28 in your hand, we'll give you 28 in your hand and we'll sell it for the price we can sell it. We've got overhead, you can, we've got advertisement costs. We'll sell it for 32, give you 28, are you happy with that? Are you happy? She says, aye, fine. So, we did just that. In fact, the first deal we got, she never even signed, she never even agreed to it. Because the guy wanted to pay in installments. So we found another buyer for our little house. Sold it. And what happened then? She starts going around telling everybody that I personally got six grand with it. And she was she wasn't happy at the deal. I oh fuck you bitch, alright? I never got six grand with it, I got fucking six hundred euro with it. Alright? Which isn't quite the same. And because of that, this guy fell out with me and plus this other guy he's they're all bitching about me behind my back, right? So I didn't want anything to do with any of them anymore. Right, cool. So what happens next? The guy paid, he never had any bills to pay for, I, I was in the right basically because his, his phone bill was closed down because it was in his builder's name and the builders moved to Germany so he closed the line down. So it wasn't my fault after all and they had no water or electricity bills. So we never paid any, I never got any money. I took my three fucking fifty back, gave him his bills and said cheerio, I'm out of here. Another morning pissing about, so I'll, I'll not be doing that again, which is good, because that's even less responsibility. I don't need much responsibility in my life. On to the next gen, gets him, 
the wife has to go to hospital, she wants me to look after the boy. I've got a gig yesterday night, I'm trying to prepare for it, get myself mentally sorted, Ken. I'm saying, can you look, take the boy to the hospital? No, no, I can't do that, I can't take the boy to the hospital, I can't do my parents, look after the boy, the boy's too crazy. Oh. Thankfully, our father's fucking on this planet, Ken. So he says, no, no, we'll take the boy, didn't he worry about it? Oh, you sure, you sure? Aye, fucking take him. Because his father, Ken's I need peace for her, because he enjoys his peace for her, so the feel is mutual, Ken. So anyway, I had a couple of hours in the afternoon, they go back, the wife gives me 50 fucking quid to go and uh, hire a car. Even hiring a car here is 80 quid for a day. It's no quid, it's the equivalent in this country, right? It's a different currency, I just say quid for the sake of it. But the point is she gives me 50. I need 80. So I had to go to the bank and withdraw 30. I've now got 80. It goes to the first, goes to the car hire place, they're wanting 70 quid to hire the car. I'm like, I'm only one if you fucking, no, now, 4 o'clock in the afternoon to 9 o'clock in the morning, morning. Oh, 70, 70 quid. I was like, fair enough. And I played the 10 second game. You've got to play the 10 second game here, right? I walked out the shop, counted to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hey, excuse me, sir, excuse me. Yes, yes. Okay, we'll do it for 50. We'll do it for 50. Oh, well, you fucking really, there's a surprise, right? So I get to the car, I ended up, I put 30 quid worth of petrol in it, I only used about 20, so they still got another tenner out of me, again. There's left a tenner worth of petrol in the car, which I wasn't too pleased about. Anyway, through to this tune, 30 mile drive, I hired a car I wanted to get in. I had a few hours to myself, it was fucking heaven and earth. Just sitting at the beach, chilling out, thinking about what kind of shit I was going to tell the audience that night. Basically getting a bit worried about it because uh, I didn't care what type of crowd it was and uh, it was all it was a golf day was organised and we're all going to this do afterwards for a meal, okay? And I'm the evening entertainment to all, all these grannies as it turned out, which uh, believe me, was the my crowd, it was the my crowd. So it turns up there anyway, gets the gear on and gives the, the guy uh, the music to play. I was going to start with No Big Erection, but I made a fuck up, didn't I? I made a total fuck up. I gave him a version No Big Erection that already had my singing on it. So the thing starts, the next thing I'm hearing my voice and the speakers coming through as so I've got the mic. I'm going, oh, this is a disaster. And I'm singing No Big Erection to these grannies whose face just fucking hit the floor. It's like, can we can't even laugh at this? What would the neighbours think? So it wasn't even a crowd. I had one or two in the crowd. I persevered. But obviously the ones that weren't interested in it wasn't for them. Fair play, I'm not for them, but they all started talking, which I think is a bit fucking rude. So I had fucking talking in the background going on constantly. And then outside, directly outside the, the place I was doing the gig, there was a mosque. And that kicked off its fucking evening prayer session. So I'm trying to talk over the top of that, talk over the top of this, and I only had about three people in the audience who were actually fucking into it, what I was trying to talk to them about. I managed to get a 25 minute gig out of it. It was the first one, first comedy gig Nob Stewart's ever performed. So I guess. That was, uh, I don't know, alright basically, all things considered, but I'll need to find someone else to try and get some practice in before this Edinburgh fiasco is going to kick off fairly soon. Uh, I didn't care if my material was that strong to actually day an hour, but I'll fucking day it anyway, okay? Once it's done, that's it, finito. Then I can come back to my wee camera and talk pish every day. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, but it was a brilliant thing that happened at the end of the night, superb. This guy was playing pool with his girlfriend and I'm watching her get shot, get shot, pal. His girlfriend had enough and the guy says to me, you want a game? Aye, fucking brilliant. I love a bit of pool. No playing pool for ages. I'd love a pool partner to, pra to get a wee bit of fun. Pool's fun, right? So, the guy started off shit hot. Six shots. Fucking he was ramming them on through everywhere. And I was like, hey, you've played this game before, pal. Eh? The guys laugh. Aye, aye, I have. But. He put his six balls first, then I came in, won that game. Fuck knows how I done it, but I stormed it. Same thing I have the next game, he's doing all his miracle shots, six balls in. Fair dues, here we go again. Nob clears up, won the second game. The guy's getting a bit peeved off by this time. He's like, I won the third, I won the third. No, he fucking didn't he? Nob won the third. Three in a row, three in a fucking row. The guy had enough, he's like, aye, thanks for the game. <laughs> he stops the way into the corner. Ha, 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 go on yourself, Nob. That made me happy, no end, so that was basically the best bit of the whole fucking day, that was. I said thank you to the guy, the, the barman actually liked what I'd done last night. He said to me, advertise me as Nob Stewart and get a crowd just in for that type of humour. But I was speaking to a Scottish guy at the bar, uh, and he basically said, this is neither tune for you because this place is full of grannies and uh, upper class well-to-do folk. You need the low class, working class folks, Ken. 
because uh, uh, as soon as you say the F word, a lot of people switch off, don't they? Regardless of what you're trying to tell them, that's the way today's society is, isn't it? We're so conditioned to say F. That's why when Didier Drogba comes on and says it's a fucking disgrace, that's why uh, all the Sky News broadcasters always cack their pants, you know. Graham Soonis and whoever there, the Jenny Remnap and fucking, uh, oh, oh, sorry, sorry about the language, sorry about the language, Graham. we're bombing children in fucking Iraq, and we're sorry to be the language. That's what I didn't understand, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I didn't understand, Ken. But anyway, that was my note yesterday. Hope you enjoyed that, yeah, and I'll see you in the next gen. Bye bye.